Yo, this is BJ Gador with Men's Health, and this is my single favorite squat exercise. I would argue it's the single best squat for everyone, and I'll explain why. The big focus here, we're gonna use two dumbbells, or you can use two kettlebells. Two dumbbells, a little more accessible. I'll show that option. I also want you to have access to a mini band, uh, which we'll be wrapping just above the knees. Any mini band will do. I like to use Mark Bell's hip circle, which I'll be using in this video. And the key focus here is we're using the hip circle to place above the knees to help cue out good knee out positioning. And actually, less knee out, more about spreading the hips, activating the glutes, and improving lumbo pelvic hip mechanics. So the lumbar spine, the pelvis, getting them in the right position, also turning on the core. So I'm gonna set those right just above the knee. I'm also then gonna take a pair of dumbbells, and I love using the dumbbells because they're kind of self-limiting. If you aren't strong enough to get the dumbbells into position, into the front rack, it means you're not ready for it, so you're gonna end up using the appropriate weights, whereas with back squatting, front squat, and you can really load that up from the top and then get into trouble at the bottom. So we're gonna hang clean the weights in the position, get right like this, set the feet about hip to shoulder width apart, whatever degree of toe flare you need to feel comfortable, and track those knees over the ankles and toes. I'm gonna root my elbows tight to my ribs, crunch my abs, and I'm gonna stay as tall as I can and just sink down slowly, spreading my hips, getting to the point where ideally that hip crease is slightly beneath the knee crease. I'm gonna pause for a count and then come up. You're feeling shoulders, hips, core, quads. The whole body is working here. Now, you really wanna make this challenging. My favorite way to do this, don't uh, confuse favorite with easy, is taking four seconds to slowly lower to that bottom position, holding for four seconds in the bottom position, and then coming up and doing sets of six to 10 repetitions. That will completely change the way you feel about the squat. And the way, the way I would approach that is build up for three to five sets of six to 10 reps. Once you can do 10 reps in every set, increase the load by five pounds in each dumbbell and keep working that up that 4-4 tempo, that negative really helps build muscle. The isometric really helps own the bottom of the squat. Combine that hip circle action with that front load so we stay tall up top. It's really hard to mess this one up. And I guarantee if you use this regularly, it'll change your legs, it'll change your body. Try it today.